Hello everyone. This little tutorial I'm, I am about to show you is going to cover something that is not required in your flash documents or your final assignment. But it may be nice for you to know how to do this. This is kind of a useful thing that flash can do. And it may be helpful in when you're trying to demonstrate and, and illustrate your principle that you're trying to teach. It may be useful if you can figure out how, flash, how to make flash do this. Um, one of the neat things about Flash is you can make it draw <clears throat> for you. Now, let me show you how this works. If I test my movie here, you can see these little white lines that are being drawn that are making up the ellipses. And this is a useful thing in illustrating stuff and and if you're having things move along a path, it, it may be good to draw a line and have Flash do it for you and, and you not have to worry about drawing those lines in the animation. If you can imagine trying to animate these lines frame by frame by frame, you'd have to draw a little bit of the line, go to the next frame, draw a little bit more of the line, go to the next frame, draw a little bit more of the line, which can be very, very tedious and time consuming. So if you can have Flash draw for you, all the better. So we're going to use ActionScript to do this. Now, what you, the first thing you have to figure out is, is, is where do you want this ActionScript? Do you want it on the main timeline? Do you want it inside a movie, movie clip? Now for this, kind of the obvious choice is inside a movie clip. The reason is, is the movie clip is the thing that's moving, and it's, it's the thing with the animation in it. So if I'm going to trace an animation, then that seems like an obvious choice. So I'm going to go inside the movie clip, the appropriate movie clip. It's inside my wave motion movie clip and then one more step in and I've got this droplet move and you can see this is my animation of this of the circles and the ellipses. And you can see that <clears throat> this animation it it took a took a while, not too long, you know, it's just a, a, a series of motion animations. And then I reuse that for each of these little droplets. Okay, so as I add action script to this movie, <coughs> it will also add action script to these other two because they're the same movie clip. All right, so let's go into the actions here. Oh, oh there it is right there. I'm going to delete that. We're going to redo it all over again so you can see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to get it on my actions layer there. And the uh, first thing I need to do is I need to make the line. Now, as we've talked about before, these are objects in, in ActionScript or stored in variables. And it's going to be a movie clip. I want to make a movie clip. The line is going to be a movie clip. And whenever you create a new movie clip, you always need to tell Flash that it's a new movie clip. Oh, I lost my action palette there. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to <clears throat> move this line to a certain spot, tell it where to start. Now, this, we could say start at 0, 0, but sometimes your movie clip is offset a little bit, and maybe the object you're trying to trace is not right at 0, 0. So we're going to do this the right way. And so what you need to do is tell line, the variable line, to move to the position you want them to start at. So we're going to move it to drop at dot x and drop dot y. So this is the horizontal position and the, the vertical position. So it's going to start right where that drop is. That <clears throat> now uh, we also need to give it some a color. So I'm, I'm just going to use white. I could have chosen any color I wanted to. And uh, so I need a, in a variable, I need to store this color. And colors are, you, uh, the type of variable you use is the uinter, uinter, and this is white. Now, if you're familiar with hex values, you'll know what that is. This is just the type of color that Flash uses. So if, if you need to do a little research on hex values, um, you can search that on the internet, and you can basically choose any color uh, from this uh, from this kind of configuration, and 
most websites go off this type of color scheme, so it's good to become familiar with hex values and what they, those are. Okay, then we're going to tell the line to have a certain kind of line style. And I'm just going to have it be a, a you know, kind of normal line style that's three pixels wide and that is has that line color of white that I chose. Okay. Then to this movie clip, I'm going to add an event listener. Because we're inside the movie clip, we don't need to, to put the movie clip's name in the front here and then type add event listener. We can just go ahead and type add event listener. Event, and this is going to be an enter frame event. And we're going to call this little function draw lines. And like always, we're going to do garbage collection here. Then we're going to make our function. It's going to be a very simple function. It's going to be an event, as we know. And in this function, I'm just going to say, OK, line, I want you to draw yourself to whatever drop x is and whatever drop y is. OK, uh, pretty simple. So what this is going to do is every time it enters a frame, it's going to evaluate, OK, where is the drop, that movie clip, that little circle movie clip, where is it located? and then draw a line to that. And that line is going to be three pixels wide and have the line color of white. And then this line will start from, and so it's important to have this move to, it's going to start from the original drop X and the original drop Y. If we were to put this little bit of code within this, a line would actually never draw because we'd just be moving, constantly moving the line instead of drawing the line, which is this line to function. Now, what we need to do now is the final step when adding an object to the timeline with action script, you have to tell Flash to add it. So to do this, you just go add child. So it's going to add a child to the display list and we need to add the line, the variable line. And then we test this. Start. And there we go. We have a elliptical line being drawn. Well, I hope that was useful for you and I hope worth your time. Um, and something maybe you can use in your projects. Good luck. Thanks.